Hey guys, Rob with SNS Archery here. I'm in the beautiful mountains of Idaho with another new spotting scope from Koa. Uh, this is the TSN55A for angled. Um, they also have a straight model, that would be the TSN55S. Uh, this is a 55 millimeter spotter. Uh, the magnification goes from 17 to 40X. It is 34 ounces and the overall length is just over 10 inches. So as backpack hunters, this is right up our alley. Definitely a contender for the best, right? Um, why is that? Or how do they do that? Well, Co is already known for having uh, a great glass. And part of the reason for that is the fluorite crystal that they grow in a lab in Japan. Um, this objective is just one piece of fluorite crystal. Fluorite crystal is great when it comes to uh, mitigating that chromatic aberration. So how does that translate for us hunters? Usually you're going to be able to see uh, more points or see a difference between the points, uh, especially in high contrast situations. One of the other things that, that Co is kind of known for is the dual focus knobs. Uh, boy, this really sets us apart from the competition in the market right now. Uh, getting that perfect focus is very easy with these dual focus knobs. Uh, sometimes with the, uh, with the barrel focus, it'll interrupt the image when you're trying to get that perfect focus, but not with these. How is this different from the previous model? Uh, well, it still has the fluorite crystal, but now they've integrated the TE11WZ eyepiece. So this is the same eyepiece that you'll find on the 66, the 88, and the 99. Uh, but it is integrated, so you're not going to be able to remove it or swap it out. Uh, this eyepiece is 17 to 40x, and it is a wide angle eyepiece. That's huge on this little spotter. Um, in fact, the field of view now is 50% larger than the previous Koa 55, and it's about 10 to 12% larger than everything else in the field. So that's really impressive. Um, and all of this really just kind of uh, translates to outstanding performance. Okay, moving on, uh, this does have this little, uh, these ridges on the sunshade that allow you to kind of come back from behind and line this up really easily. So if you have a hard time with the angled model, uh, it's very easy to get this lined up, get you on target very quickly. This spotter does come with uh, objective cover and uh, an eyepiece cover. They finally got it dummy corded, that's kind of awesome. Um, and, and more on this eyepiece, it is the TE11WZ. So if you already have a Koa 77, 66, 88, 99, uh, and you have a digiscoping adapter, it's gonna fit on this perfectly. One other improvement that they've made is the mounting is a much larger footprint. It's still not Arca Swiss, which is disappointing, but it does have two recesses for those little nipples that are on the plates that allow you to keep that plate in place and it doesn't spin if, if it gets kind of loose. Um, so that's, that's kind of a neat improvement there. Overall, this has just been a fantastic little spotter. We, we're doing some comparison testing right now and it's, and it's really doing well. Very excited about this spotting scope, obviously. It's right up our alley as backpack hunters. You know, it's small, lightweight, and performs really, really well. Uh, if you have any questions on this spotting scope or any other questions for me, please give me a call, 208-495-4222. Happy to answer any of your questions, and thank you for watching. <music>